Hey, what's happening? It's Diddly Diddly D, and I'm about to bring the good word to thee. It's Brother Daryl Mack, guys, and I'm coming to you with a Bible Minute with the Mack, and it's uh, the Holy Spirit is leading the way. Psalm chapter 70, a prayer for relief from adversaries. Look, man, everyone who's prayed to the one almighty God who dwells in us now, who is with these people back then in our Bibles, is filled with victory after victory after victory. Not one loss. The only loss in the Bible is, is Lucifer. <laughs> and all who followed him, who came against God's people, his children. And we are them today like they were back then. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, guys. And what he did for these folks, David, here in the book of Psalm, chapter 70, against David's enemies, all of them were crushed. Like a fly under a fly swatter. Pow! smash right that's what god will do we don't reward evil with evil we reward evil with good guys we show love to our enemies but here's the thing we don't go attack our enemies we lift up our worries in the air in a prayer and leave them right there and god sends down victory his almighty power comes into the situation and he crushes our enemies under our feet right he makes our enemies our footstool but we let god take care of our enemies guys so here's a prayer for relief from adversaries i want you to take god's word today and i want you to personalize scripture make this scripture your own it was david's prayer for relief from adversaries it's our prayer today giving us an example how to pray and we're going to personalize this you add your name your family member's name whoever's under attack by the adversary whether spiritually or physically god can crush them all right he's defeated satan at the cross spiritually boom no more power not today or any day satan he did it with david physically in front of a giant that was nine and a half cubits um tall uh, one cubit is a foot and a half, so you'll have to do the math. So seven and a half, or nine and a half foot tall he was. Nine and a half cubits he was. So every cubit is a foot and a half. You do the math. That's how tall Goliath was in front of David, looking up at him like what? <laughs> I've been like what? <laughs> he whipped that rock, boom, right in the forehead. His giant fell, your adversary, your giant will fall in your path today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we serve the almighty God, Father Yahweh, the great I am. He's on your side. He was on David's side. He's on your side. And because God's the same yesterday, today, and forever, his almighty power, his strength, his goodness, his sovereignty reigns over everything. And now he's on your side. He's on my side. We got this, man. Let's get it. Here we go. Prayer for relief from adversaries. Psalm chapter 70 of Psalm of David. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Stop right there. Insert me, your neighbor, your family, your friends, whoever's under attack right now. Insert their name. Personalize it. This is what we mean. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Make haste to help. Add your name, who you want to be helped. O Lord, let them be ashamed and confounded who seek my life. Let them be turned back and confused who desire my hurt. Let them be turned back because of their shame, who say, aha, ha ha, A-H-A, -A, aha, aha, laughing at us. God gets the last laugh, and so shall we with the victory of God from up above. It comes crushing down on our adversaries to crush every enemy in our path. Praise the Lord. Verse 4, let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, and let those who love you love your salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Say it right now really quickly. Let God be magnified. Ready? Let God be magnified. Magnified his holy name, guys. Praise the Lord. Verse 5. But I am poor and needy. Make haste to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O God, do not delay. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Boom! Personalize that. Now God hears our cry, our prayer for relief from our adversaries. And you got the victory, that V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, victory in Jesus' mighty name. Because through Jesus, right, it's the only way to the Father, right? 1 Timothy 2.5, there's one meteor between God and man. Back then they had a direct line, right? And God sends Jesus, the God in the flesh, to save us. And now he's our spiritual king as David. I did a devotional earlier as David was king of Israel. He's the, uh, the physical king of Israel. Jesus comes into that donkey uh, during Holy Week, riding into Easter. They call it Easter, but Resurrection Sunday as the king of Israel, the king of king, Lord of lords, reigns in heaven, and he's up there interceding for us to give us victory when he hears our cry, God. Guys, and it's just amazing to our almighty God. Praise the Lord. It's been a Bible Minute with the Mac. This has been Diddly Diddly D, and I just brought the good word to thee. Praise God, guys. Praise his holy name, man. And uh, just keep fighting a good fight, and fear not. is not a request from God. 
but a, but a commandment. We don't need to fear when God Almighty's on our side. We didn't come this far just to come this far. God's going to take us the rest of the way, guys, when on His strength, on His courage, and through the Holy Spirit, He will lead the way. He doesn't bring us to it, not to bring us through it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Peace be with you. I'll see you next time. And if the good Lord takes me home before you, I will leave the lights on like Motel 6. <laughs> Peace be with you. Love you all. Hallelujah.